Eric Elwood, the new hero in out half, wished every success. Elwood, another drop at goal. It's over! At the spirit and tenacity shown by the Irish team and capitalised on by the new hero at out half, Eric Elwood. There's a big difference between an assistant coach and director of rugby, so it was a bit daunting at first. And um, I think after the first game when we played the Dragons all those years ago, it was a lovely sunny day here, we won with a bonus point, so it was a nice start to the tenure. Um, I, I'd like to think that we've moved on, you know, um, in the brand of rugby we play, um, attracting interest in the west of Ireland and building the brand of Connors Rugby. Um, being involved in the Heineken Cup for the last two years has certainly helped. In the The young lads have come forward. I mean, we have 19 Indigenous players in our senior squad, and a lot of those guys over the last two and a half years, to my promise, is that they're good enough, they're old enough, they get the opportunity, and they have done. For continuity purposes, those guys are coming through, um, and have done for the last two years, which is great. I think it's really important that we're able to hold on to our established senior players as well, because that too will help us recruit the better players from other provinces, or Irish qualified players abroad, and hopefully attract good non-Irish eligible players. I think the main goal for us was to um, be competitive, um, you know, not just in the sports ground, but in, in, in away matches, to gain that respect within the league that when you're playing Connacht, it's not just about the wet and windy sports ground, it's these guys can play, I like the way they play, and they're going to be competitive home and away. And I think over the couple of years in the Rabo, that we gained that respect, we showed we were competitive, but we also showed we were competitive in Europe against the good teams. And I think that's, that's also a positive for Connacht in that in the Premier competition in Europe, albeit it's only our second time, but in the two, two years we've been involved, we've, we've taken a couple of scalps and we're continuing to build. It's 24-7 in the goldfish bowl, being scrutinised, and it's difficult. You know, it's, it's, it's publicly known and difficult it is between resources and, um, you know, the, the players and the size of our squad. But that is the challenge that I've always relished and the reason I took the job is because I care and I wanted to make a difference. I, I think I can, I'm pretty confident I can stand up and say I've left in a, in a better place and we certainly move forward and we built on the good work that other people have done and, and that makes me proud.